And let's talk about this Monday night football game between the Browns and the Ravens. Now the Ravens ended up winning the game 47, 42. Uh, there was so much that happened in this game, including I think the biggest story of the night was did Lamar Jackson almost poop himself last night? Did he? Because uh, it looked like he did. I've been in that situation many a times. Great and Lamar Jackson had the, action. He had the 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 Hershey Highway look on his face. <laughs> so I don't know what you guys if you guys have any stories about that, but it looked like he ran up the tunnel to go take a poop, and he came back through a touchdown, and won the game. Oh, I mean, we had great football action, but it's way more fun to talk about if Lamar Jackson had to hit the pot. <laughs> I know it is. It really is. And what do you guys think? Bro, didn't they have the white pants on yesterday? Like that? <laughs> oh gosh, they did. <laughs> like that, that is a no-go. Like if he had to go use the pot and he had to get out of there, I will take that. There is nothing worse than if you probably shit yourself <laughs> on Monday Night Football, right? <laughs> but, but they're going to stick to the script. But they said that, you know, he went and caught a cramp, but he looked like the goat coming out, pulling his best Paul Pierce, you know, that he could have, you know. I thought it was the best game of the year so far, easily. Yeah, easily I, I, the I, best game. I mean, that was just, that was beautiful, fun, enjoyable football. And I actually wanted him to miss that last field goal just so I could get overtime to get more too. of that football. But, you know, I was, I'm, I'm analyzing, did Lamar Jackson have to take a dump? I had a blast on Twitter, <laughs> assuming he had to take a dump. <laughs> but I got to believe the guy, I think it was just cramps. He came out with the bandage around his elbow, which uh, I played in Miami where I just got pregame IVs for cramps because it was so <laughs> hot and humid. Thing. Yeah. You always get come out with that bandage. And then that little scoot of the video in the hallway where he's scooting. And we all have done that yeah. scoot where you just got to be careful. But I think he was just being careful when you have on cleats and you're running on a hard surface. If you don't scoot, you fall. So I think the scoot was for safety of his cleats, not safety of dropping one. So Lamar, you know, man, we had a blast on Twitter, but I I'm going to believe you. I'm going to say, too, you can't hit a pass rush move on a guy coming out the door the way he did quickly like that <laughs> if yeah. you got to take a dog. You know That's what I'm saying? True. That's true. It's impossible. He almost flipped his hips and turned around like, <laughs> he did. how did you see him coming? You know? <laughs> see, I, I took that thing as, like, him, when, when the guy got to the door, he's like, move! Like, I'm about to shit myself. I'm about to let this thing go. You need to get out of the way right now. Right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, just think about you couldn't write a better story where Lamar disappears, the backup comes in and looks to be doing all right, and then his leg explodes, <laughs> and then here prances Lamar out on fourth and five and then throws a touchdown. Like, like what? You, you literally can't dream that up, and it was incredibly exciting to watch. I loved it. I, I loved every moment of that game. Uh, to be honest, like, that was probably Baker Mayfield's best game that I saw him play, you Agreed. know. For them to get drugged by the Ravens early on in the season like they did and to come back and put the fight up that they did, I really think that there might be a little bit of turmoil in that division. You know, we all were looking at Pittsburgh kind of running away with it, and now you have teams that are showing that they can really play. So that's going to be a big matchup, you know, here in a few upcoming weeks. That is going to be a huge matchup. And I was just about to say, I think Baker Mayfield did have his best game of his career. And I, I he, he had to have thought when he got done with that game, because you kind of saw it on his face before he left the field. He was like, man, I just put everything I had on the line right now thinking I'm going to win and I didn't win. And it's like one of those moments where you're like, what else did I need to do? But he couldn't have done anything else. He did everything he could have possibly done. He fucking he he thrashed the Ravens defense. He thrashed the Ravens defense. And when I tell you I was so disappointed just because I had the Ravens as my defense on my fantasy team and oh. they absolutely scored me zero points <laughs> yesterday. Really? Even with and the I safety? Ended up losing in the playoffs by point mm. two four. Oh. Because they couldn't even give me a point. Even the safety at the end, I thought it was going to jump me back over and it dropped me off just to make me disappointed. Wow. Oh, one more fun thing about that game. Yeah. The spread was three. It was. So the Ravens were minus three. So it was a push until that last play became a safety in which millions of dollars changed hands on that last play for sports betters, making it a whole nother layer of a great game. Yeah. 
I uh, I said on the show today, Gwen and Chris, 97.3 The Fan, I said, it brings me joy when people lose bets like that. It just it just does because my cousin's a big better and he's always like talking about how he's going to make a living off of playing the bet, you know, betting. I'm like, you're never going to make a living betting because you're always going to end up breaking even. And he's like, it's a lock. You should put a hundred down tonight on the Browns. And I was like, I'm good. And then look what happened. So there it is. <laughs> look what happened. But that was a fun game.